leave Conway, you kind of headed south towards Niagara on Route 66 here. It's a pretty narrow road, so it's all rainy. It gets real dangerous here. It's a small village of about 400 people. It's Tower Road we just passed. And up here on the right, we got a uh, thing called Abilly Court. Right at Deerfield Drive on the right, here, it's called Deerfield Drive, that little pump station, I'll show you. So we got a little marker here, Deerfield, this is Deerfield Road here. Check out this here, it's called the Babley Modern Court, among the trees. It's a drive-in motel. Used to be called an auto court, built in 1940. We've got eight cabins with gabled roofs all around here. Each cabin had three rooms. The office is in the center out here. Beautiful. The cabins all face this little center rock area. It's a cafe, but it burned down in 1950 or so. Another cabin was lost in the fire, but these are all the original cabins here on Route 66. I think it's still open. You probably stay here. Let's check out this iconic sign. Can't really see it anymore because it's hidden in the trees. Look at that. Abbey Lee Modern Court Among the Trees and Cafe. This place is beautiful. Little Abbey Lee right on. Deerfield, you can't miss it. We're gonna head this way still. Hey, that was cool. That was Abilly Among the Trees. It's still open, that's pretty amazing. So continue south about a half a mile to Main Street, right? It's called Niangua Junction. All right, so check this out. We're at Niangua Junction on Main Street and Route 66. This guy's built in the 1930s, was a gas station and a convenience store. 1938, it sold ice, cold drinks, and Marathon brand tires. 1956, it was Skelly Gas. And then later, additions were made on the left and the right of the building. It had this uh, hip roof extending over the office. That's cool. It's got this uh, big old canopy now. So I think the original pumps might have been right over here. But anyway, right up here, little ghost uh, sign, Niagara Station, or Niagara Junction, it says right there. It's all closed up and abandoned. These little bays here for your searching your car. Canopy here. Oh, this looks like a Sinclair. Anyway, when US 66 got realigned as a four lane highway, this place uh, pretty much closed down. We got these old gas pumps right from the old days. Let's see, there's a price on them. Not today, but looks like they were upgraded and then uh, went out of business. There we go. We have another old pump over here. Let's see what it says here. Untaxed kerosene. Now that's what you want here. Untaxed. Up here is a little business called Route 66 Truss. And they probably make trusses for either bridges or houses. Probably houses. Little wooden trusses to fit in your attic. Get that gable shape you want. So we're going to head down a little further down Niagara. We're headed south again on Route 66 towards Marshfield and along the way we're going to find a couple more things to look at. A place called Rock Haven. I'm going to show you this cool cutout here in the road. They built Route 66. Got to take all this rock here natural sandstone, just blow it out with dynamite or something. 
This guy's the Rock Haven Restaurant Cafe and Filling Station. Built in 1925, one floor, wood structure, bungalow style building. So 200 yards up on the left here, this really pretty building called the Oak Vale Park, established in 1939. It's really cool. So it was originally built in 1932 and called the Carpenter's Camp. One floor craftsman style building, had a steep pitch gable roof. Foundation in the wall, it's all made from local rocks. A little sandstone from the Ozarks there. 1936, it sold Skelly Gas. Had a small cafe. 1939, it was sold and changed its name to Oak Vale Park, right there. The owner sold Sinclair Gas. He added some cabins in the back. See a little shed there. That might have been one of the cabins. There's one back there. Anyway, there's another cabin way in the back. Well, you can't see that guy. He's way back there. There you go. That cabin right there. You could stay there overnight when you got gas, ate at the cafe, and had a little cocktails while you waited to rest and get on to your tour on Route 66. Hey, just around the bend, we have this historic 1924 bridge. It's crossing the Niangoa River here. We'll take a look at it. It's been replaced though. That's too bad. So the original bridge here was a Pratt Pony Trust Steel Bridge, 82 feet long. Built in 1924 by Emmy Gilias. He's also the builder of the Gilias Theater in Springfield, Missouri. And it was built to carry the traffic from Highway 14 and aligned with Route 66 in 1926. This new bridge here, it was finished around 2022 and it lengthened the bridge and raised it about five feet. Anyway, there's an auction for the original bridge I'm not sure who actually bought it, so sadly, our original bridge is gone, but we have a much safer bridge we have today. So, that's the end of our tour of Niangua, out in the Ozarks on Route 66. So we're headed into the town of Marshfield, and you know Marshfield's got just tons of stuff, and I think they're famous for the onion burgers, so we'll have to check one of those out for dinner tonight. Okay, thanks for watching my video. See you in the next one. Bye-bye.